Like, if there's any enslavement I ever want in my life, it's on this video. You know, I was listening to a song, my Niger song, African song, and it says, SSA, SSA, touch one boy and slap him. And I love that song. This is the reason I'm making this video. Everybody out there, touch one boy and slap him, or touch one girl and slap him. This thing is real. And please, leave all your comments down below because slavery is real so a couple things here and hopefully you know where i'm from we call this kind of people jater and we have a special st stool for them when their time comes i want to talk about where the name cheese boy came out but now he's gotten an upgrade and i respect that because things are going really well and i hope they keep going really well but uh, one thing I'm never going to stop doing is putting him at the special stool where he belongs because maybe he's used to... I mean, the first ex-wife, there was no man there. He knows the story behind that. If you watched the videos previously, you should probably be able to tell. And the second wife, which he took from an Indian guy, second wife was dating this Indian guy and... He had an opportunity to snatch her from this Indian guy, got married to her, had a boy. And now the third wife, I know people still think they're dating, that's a dating game. But now the perfect thing, even the name change has occurred, which is the best thing ever because I wouldn't want my name out there just carelessly. But my girls still have my name and that should ring a bell loud bell for Jeter. So, you know, if he's used to snatching women from other people, I just want to make it clear there was no snatch here. It just happened. All this had occurred and the occurry. And finally, you know, all the Lua people who are watching this, please explain to the husband that what Jeter means. Jeter from Luism. Now, the third wife was a freelancer and that's how everything happened. From his previous experience, Cheese Boy and and I'll explain right now I call him you know put your husband on a leash because it's not dating anymore it's, it's probably even coming to a year anniversary not really sure when that will come out but I know it will but yeah they've been married a long time I want to let him know that when you find an African man I know he consider himself black I have a lot of black friends for whatever that's worth. My best friends are black. I am African. My current partner is white. We accept all races for whatever that's worth. Your action, your responsibility doesn't matter to us, but we do make it clear. I smell good. I gotta go. And I gotta go I have a dance performance for my girls to attend. And this is part of putting him on the seat. You know, maybe teach him a lesson. The way I'm from, they say, see a funzo na maki funzo na ulimengu. So a lot of stuff has gotten into place but you know he still tends to cough scoff but he doesn't know where to scoff so it's my duty to teach my girls about this coughing man about the allegations of putting his dickhead anywhere i want to assure the world that my girls are safe from that i keep a really tight niche on that and if that were to ever happen then he'll know the rap of a Lua man. So that bottle is sealed. I'm still sealing other stuff. And right now, you know, he can't make a video of me or even scoff where I'm at with my kids because Jeter. Jeter responsibilities are different. My kids have never looked for a father. They're not in need. But he was looking for a wife, which he has now. And you know, a couple things. He talked about, I know, there was about making a lot of money and me leaving my <clears throat> tax refund about my pocket money around you know there's about a father is a father everywhere which sucks for the kids and i think this video is most importantly for women you know you do a good job choosing a man that you know can be a slave for love like this one even given the opportunity i've given him the opportunity to move to texas or atlanta so that he can be close to his kids but apparently he's not wanting to take that right now for the fear who knows maybe crowded home or maybe he doesn't really have access to his kids who knows i'll be late Let's keep doing this in the car. Oh, where was I? I have the wrong car today. My other car is has my regular glasses, so uh, these are not too bad either. As a father, I don't condone disrespect. And as Jeter, you gotta know where your responsibilities are. 
because the reason of oh I've heard I cannot take a child from the mother bullshit you know I've heard stuff about money I have all the money oh I love that that is full shit oh that is good shit you know money I love money and it seems to be drying out lately I can see you know when it first started there was so much money going on okay which way am I going I can't be late for my daughter I gotta split myself into two today I got a party to go and I got my girls turn right onto and you know my shirt Proceed you know after this I really wanna do as my shirt states In a quarter mile, and then I heard like the oh exit, I'm not here to replace west. you guess what you can never freaking replace me I mean your kids have been I probably replaced you I mean if you can father from a distance granted the opportunity go to Texas or go to Atlanta but still who knows but you know what I am so glad to teach am I going the same freaking but yeah I've had so many things but I'm just gonna say and even for the mother of my kids and any other women watching out there, man, good job if you choose a man with, you know, coming into money. But just At know if you have kids, exit onto South, they're never West. looking for a dad. Dang it. But yeah, so, she's boy. Yeah, so I've had so many things and, you know, like life is a marathon Turn right to merge onto like the oh the if you hear, if you know what this kid tell me and holy macaroni but anyway I am if you know for the monetary value I appreciate that that's one thing I'm gonna condemn you for even though it's dried out lately I wish that would keep coming like it's always been but for the dead issues where I'm at, you cannot scoff. If you scoff, I'll remind you, maybe your mama didn't ever remind you. In 1.2 miles. And if you ever thought I defend my West country with a stick, I defend America with a stick. I defend my other country with arrogance. And if it works for me, it works for me. And you should know by now. And I also had Oh, I know all your DNA and how you work. Good luck with that. I mean, now scoff and let's see what happens because this is the last letter for you. Because you're not part of this. And now you have a wife with a name that you're so that can Use clearly right tell you. Exit onto West 1700 South. You know where you belong. And I heard you're here to stay. No, you're here on invite only. And the one hour session I have with my girls every week to teach them about Jeter. Get to your stool and stay in your stool and you will forever be fine. And we, we love you and your blackness. Just like I believe I got people who love me and my Africanness. And I think, I mean, you got a perfect match. And so that's good. I think the only missing puzzle is kids on your own. And I mean, we all know, like it says, you know, as a Jeter, Jeter duties, he's so good at it. Cheese boy is so good at it. Regard, regardless of which woman comes in his life. But it's just his kids crazily suffer. But, you know, that's not my interest. But... I hope they can know that, like, choices that people make At the light, turn left onto exactly South 3000 they West, the then turn was. left onto Sam Love Drive. And so, I just really wish, I mean, lately my girl's been having a lot of competition that even now I have to squeeze by. And, you know, every time, like, now I'm going in here for an hour, to show face and then I have to go to other commitments 
but this chauffeur boy is just there 24 7 and i'm like wow it's amazing i'm like when you're interacting with me and in a space you are nothing but a chauffeur who you are and that's it i can't wish any more for his kids to have this kind of father is father everywhere and be a participant in everything they do but yeah let me find my spot and we'll continue this baby I'm making a video. Why? Because I have a question I want to ask you. Why do you always make videos when I'm stressed? You're stressed? <laughs> Why are you stressed? I have anxiety because we're running late. Don't worry about it. We'll be there on time. Fault. Don't worry about running late. Mm. It's not my fault it either. It is 100% your fault. Okay, let always. me change the camera.